Welcome to this technical know-how video. Today we are going to see how can we move data from a table which is situated in BigQuery and we want to move this data into AWS S3, right? So we can do this very easily within 10 minutes if you have some data, data that is there in the BigQuery tables and you want to move it into S3. So the problem as of today is there are no direct connectors through which you can you know utilize to migrate the data from your BigQuery to S3. However, we can do this using some of the native services provided by GCP and AWS, right? So what are the services that we are going to use? We are going to use BigQuery definitely where our data is there, the table is located. So BigQuery is nothing but a serverless petabyte scalable multi-cloud data warehouse by Google. If you are familiar with AWS, it's something similar with Redshift, right? And then we are going to use Google Cloud Storage. It is a object storage, which is very similar to AWS S3. And then we are going to use Cloud Shell, which is a online bash shell provided by GCP. And then we are going to use AWS S3 Definitely our final landing location where we want to store our data file, right? So how can we do this? So first we have some data in a table, let's say in a BigQuery, right? And then we have to unload that data into Google Cloud Storage. Why? Because as I mentioned that there are no direct connectors available from BigQuery to S3. So we are going to unload this data into Google Cloud Storage, which is very similar to uh, S3 in Google, right? And then we are going to copy that data file from uh, Cloud Storage to S3 using Cloud Shell provided by Google. And how can we do that? Let's jump into the demo so that we can understand how we are going to do it. Hi, in this demo, we are going to see how can we move data from Google BigQuery to AWS S3. So there are no direct connectors available to move data from BigQuery to S3. However, using some native services provided by GCP like Google Cloud Storage, which is very similar to AWS S3 and Google Cloud Shell, we can achieve this. So in this example, we have a table created called products in our Google BigQuery. And this table has around 2 million rows and the table size is around 84 MB. And if we talk about the schema, we have this following columns, user ID, product ID, rating, and then timestamp, right? So as I just explained, there are no direct connectors. So what we are going to do is we are going to unload this particular data from this BigQuery table into Google Cloud Storage. So this is the Google Cloud Storage and we can create a bucket here, right? So I'll just create one bucket, let's say product outbound, right? And let's just create with all default configuration. Now I'll go back to my BigQuery table and here I have the option of export. So I'll export to Google Cloud Storage and here I'll browse and I can see the bucket I just created, products outbound, right? And here I need to provide on which name I want to export this data. So let's say products.csv because this particular data set is in CSV. And let's hit export. This should typically start a job to export the data, right? And we can see the status here that whether it is exported or it's still in progress. Let's refresh. It's still doing that. Yep, now it's exported. So if I go back to the Google Cloud Storage bucket and if I refresh here, I should be able to see that the file has been exported. Yeah. So I can see it that products.csv has been exported from my BigQuery table, right? Now, my main target is to move this particular data product.csv into AWS S3, right? So here I'm in the AWS console and I'm going to use the S3 service. Let's create a bucket. Let's say GCP products right and let's keep everything default and let's create the bucket 
so I have a bucket created and if you see there are no objects in this bucket right now my aim is to move this data so we are going to use Google Cloud Shell and we are going to use gsutils command and then we will say cp to copy and then I'm going to give the bucket path or the file path in my GCP project so my bucket is product outbound right so I'll paste that and then I'll say which file I want to copy here it's products.csv so let's type that and then where do I want to copy so I want to copy in s3 right so in s3 I want to copy into this particular bucket so let's say s3 and then let's paste this gcp products right and let's hit enter it should start copying that particular data file so just to give you background that we have already made some configurations in backend we have created a dot border file and where we have provided the aws access key and secret access key so that it can you know interact with aws and understands which bucket i'm talking about or which aws account i'm talking about right so if you see here it says operation has been completed and the file size is 74.8 mb so let's let's see here if we have received the file so yes so if you see that we have received this particular file products.csv right and just now and the size is same 74.8 mb and now that's how we have uh, successfully copied the data from uh, google BigQuery to s3 thank you okay so we are now into the last section of this video so just some time back we saw that how we copied the data right so in the cloud shell where we used gsutilcp command to copy the data from cloud storage to s3 bucket we mentioned that there are some backend configurations that i have already uh, done right so that while giving this command my cloud shell does know which s3 bucket i'm talking about or which aws account i'm talking about so we are going to see how did we configure that right so open your cloud shell and then you know type this command gcloud config set project and then give the project id of your google cloud right and then hit enter then you type this command gsutil ls this is basically just to you know list out all the buckets and uh, the objects within that buckets right so once you hit enter if this works then we can directly skip to line number 11 if it does not works and if it gives you some error like this 401 anonymous caller does not have storage bucket dot list access to google cloud project then we need to do a configuration so Go ahead and type this command gsutil config right and hit enter then type gcloud auth login and then hit enter and then it will prompt you to go to a link and you know you need to give some necessary permission and then get a verification code that you need to enter into the shell right enter that code from that window into your shell once that activity is done then you hit gsutil ls now this should solve your error previously which we would have seen and you should be able to see all the storage buckets within our google cloud storage right now let's go to the main directory let's do cd and then let's create a dot boto file touch dot boto right it's a configuration file where we are going to actually store the configuration of our aws bucket level and account level details right so we are going to type echo credentials right and then this particular command and this this is basically going to copy this particular line right credentials in our file next let's type echo aws access key id equals to here enter aws access key id please replace this particular text with your actual aws account access key id right and then enter the remaining part this should copy into the dot boto and then again you type echo 
and then AWS secret access key and then please enter AWS account secret access key ID please here replace with your AWS account secret access key ID right and complete this command and hit enter now this should have created the content of dot boto file now you can go into uh, that dot boto file you can see what is the you know uh, the values in that dot boto file so you can do cat dot boto it will print the values uh, in your dot boto file right and then the command which might have not been working for you right gs util cp and then here we are giving dash r because we are trying to say if there are multiple files let's copy all of them recursively and then the path from where we want to copy in our gcp and then the path of the s3 product and then this should successfully copy your data files so thank you very much for going through this video i hope this has helped you to solve your problem if yes please like the video subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to hit the bell icon thank you